In a recent related uh, video, I mentioned <clears throat> recent research from the advanced study on omega-3s. Um, but I didn't get to that part in the video, so I got a lot of interest about it. Here's the advanced study. It was published in the New England Journal uh, of Medicine on August 28th, uh, or well, August 26, 2018. Um, <clears throat> and here you see the title, Effects of Aspirin for Primary Prevention on Persons with Diabetes Mellitus. Well, <clears throat> what's that got to do with um, omega-3s? It's got a lot to do with omega-3s and uh, standards and recommendations around omega-3s. Um, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. First, a brief introduction. My name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. -E -E and um, <clears throat> started off as an ER doc. Got uh, Working in the ER got me very motivated to go into prevention. I uh, got training in it and, and, and have ended up um, working with large groups of uh, primary care physicians uh, helping coordinate prevention through uh, large primary care programs. Um, <clears throat> as you may have noticed, I'm in an unusual setting. This is a hotel room. Um, we were on uh, vacation at Kiowa uh, Beach in Kiowa Island in Charleston, South Carolina, and um, we got evacuated. So now I'm in a hotel room in... Um, Savannah, Georgia. I did want to go ahead and get this out uh, though because again I've had a lot of questions regarding it. Now back to the study and back to omega-3s. Omega-3s have been um, under some uh, fairly um, debated uh, recommendations for 15-20 years. There was first uh, some discovery back around the, the turn of the century, around 2000, 2002, that uh, indicated that, that, that they may help in terms of prevention of cardiovascular events. Um, there have been a lot of studies since then. Most of them have ended up being equivocal. Uh, so one of the things that they did when they set up the advanced trial for aspirin and diabetics was they created a nested study looking at omega-3s. Uh, and I'll just read from a, uh, an excerpt of a, a, one of the researchers that was involved with it. It was um, this lady named Louise Bowman. She is uh, a part of the research uh, group with, in Oxford that did the uh, prevention study. She's a physician with the Clinical Trials uh, Service Unit and Epidemiological Services Unit at the Department of Public, uh, Population and Public Health in Oxford. And she said, <clears throat> in this study, we demonstrated no effect on the primary outcome of serious vascular diseases with omega-3s. Now, during the study period, let's get into some details because it's not that simple. You'd like to say, oh, well, gosh, a lot of people would like to say, oh, gosh, there's no impact. Drop them. Forget about them. Not quite yet. It's just not that simple. Um, so let's get into the details a little bit more. <clears throat> the study, in the study period, the primary outcome of vascular events uh, occurred in 8.9% of those taking fatty acids and 92 in those taking placebo. So very, very small impact. And it wasn't, uh, I won't get into the statistics, but it wasn't statistically significant. Now, there was another outcome that they looked at, and that is first serious vascular event. This was any serious vascular event. The other one was first serious vascular event, 11.4% in the fatty acid groups and 11.5% in the placebo group. Again, didn't matter. Either one of those outcomes, you really didn't see a significant difference. Now, <clears throat> so... What's the problem then? Why is it complicated? Why isn't it an open and shut case of just not doing it? Well, <clears throat> here's where it gets a little bit sticky. They only used one gram of supplement. The current recommendations are for three to four grams. And if you go back and you look at those original recommendations that came out of 2002, um, they were based on information that showed a potential improvement with just one gram. Now, <clears throat> so again, it gets a little bit more complicated. 
you have to consider, well, maybe one gram doesn't work and maybe three and four does. Let me just give you some uh, comments from, again, as I did in, a, in another uh, recent study on the, or recent um, video on the ASCEND study, some more comments. Um, <clears throat> Dr. Ileana Pena with the uh, Cardiology Today editorial board said, uh, I tell them patients not to get supplements, tell them to eat fish. And it's not, it's not so much because the fish, I think the fish is going to help, I want them to eat less meat products and they can do that if they eat, they'll end up doing that as a secondary product of uh, eating the fish. I also tell them to save money on the, on the supplements. Prakash Didwana, we mentioned him recently. He's at, uh, I think UC uh, uh, San Francisco, head of the cardiology program there. And he brings up, as he did before, he brings up a very good point. <clears throat> He says, no, I don't see any change in guidelines regarding omega-3s on this. We never uh, prescribed omega-3s on type of statins. Actually, that is the key point that he's bringing up. Um, the population, this group in the advanced trials had uh, overall good uh, experience with statins, and most of these people were on statins and proper blood pressure medications. The studies back in 2002, which showed an improvement with even one gram of fish oil, did not. Very few of those uh, people, far less, were on statins or, or uh, even blood pressure medications. Um, Dr. Didwana brings up another uh, critical point, which I've already mentioned. Uh, most trials today are on three to four grams. <clears throat> so. As I said, it's not quite that simple. You could say this is, and many would say, this is an open and shut case that omega-3s don't work. Well, when you get into the details, one gram of omega-3 probably doesn't work uh, if you're on doing the proper lifestyle and on statins. Um, even if you don't believe, I know a lot of my viewers don't believe in statins. Um, <clears throat> bottom line is... Uh, this is fairly strong evidence that uh, omega-3 supplements at one gram does not work. It doesn't say anything about three to four grams. We'll have to wait a little bit longer to get information on that. Thank you for your interest.